Welcome woodworkers of the world to the Swedish knife grip sessions. And now we're getting complicated. Now I'm going to talk about a special knife grip, which I call the can opener. It works like a tin can opener. You know, when you have a little metal tool and you kind of work your way down, opening up that jar like this and your thumb is, not your thumb, but on the tool you have a little thing that is attaching to the rim of the jar and then it squeezes down in the wood. This is exactly the same, but it's upside down. So I'm going to show you just a quick show how it works. And this looks really dangerous because you're cutting, it looks like you're cutting towards your thumb, but you're not. The knife is working in an arc and I'm pressing out the thumb, holding it very firmly down to the wood and kind of uh, gripping it a little like that. I'm holding the knife in between my fingers like this. And you see that my, my index finger is almost at the edge of the knife. So I'm not holding it back here, but up here, very close to the blade. That's important. And then when I'm coming down here, I'm starting at the very tip of the blade and slice from the tip down to the base all the way up like that in an arc. And when I'm coming here, you can see that my index finger is stopping at the bottom of the material, right here. Which prevents me from cutting myself. And this allows me to use a lot of power in here, since I'm doing this motion. Right, you see how much material I can take in one stroke, like this. I can actually feel the power coming from my muscles up in my shoulder and my breast and my back when I'm doing this, because that's where the power is. Many people, when they do this the first time, they look at me and they start to do like this. But this is a totally another grip. This is the thumb skew grip, which we did like this, with your thumb away from your knife at the end grain of the wood. If you do that here, you can very easily cut yourself and you cannot use the same amount of power. So instead of pulling towards your thumb like this, you have to squeeze it like this all the way out and you can see that my hand is kind of pivoting around the thumb in a kind of quarter of a circle way back from here and coming up like that and this another small little detail here is that when i'm starting i'm i'm having an attacking angle when I'm starting. So I start up here like this and then I rotate the knife in between my fingers like this. So it kind of lines up with the wood in another way. And normally when I'm doing this and want to take away a lot of material, I chamfer one side here and then I chamfer the other side here so I get a little ridge in between and then I take away the ridge this is very useful when you are both a rough carving and want to take away a lot of material so for example when you make this spatula 
and when you have you're making the stem here you want to carve away material here on the side and you want to see so the stem is coming right in the middle you can go from two sides like this and then you can use this grip very efficiently to remove material material quickly So the power in the can opener comes from two actions. First you are pushing the knife through the cut with your sh shoulder and your elbow in a semicircular arc all the way. At the same time you're doing that, you're squeezing your thumb and your fingers together, kind of lifting it up like that. So actually you, you can think about the tip of the knife it has to point to your nose. That's a good thing to think about. It has to come up to your nose, like this. You can tell that this is a kind of shortcut. It comes just a little short, and you take new rows. If you want to take away more materials, you might, my knife is almost like an needle going up and down, back and forth, like that. And if I want to make round parts, I'm rotating here, like this, with the very point of the knife, because that's a little rounded, so I can come around a little, like this. I can also take it uh, like flat, instead of coming straight up, I can do it sideways. It's exactly the same technique, but I, I do it this way instead, which helps me to round this part here. Well, you see, this is many different ways of, of using this can opener and it's it's a very efficient and strong and useful grip and I normally say when you learn to do this grip you are getting professional because when you're using this you so have so much power so much control and you can be very efficient and do the most wonderful carvings so keep on practicing Remember that, you have to practice and practice this over and over till you get the muscles and you get the technique and then you probably will be able to do it. Good luck!